Boy, this story reminds me so much of the crow. Um, and Brandon Lee and that whole fiasco. Um, when he was killed back in the day. My heart goes out to the cinematographer, the director, and people who were hit, hurt on the set because that was serious tragedy. Because on the set, you know, and everybody worked so close together. Um, um, uh, yeah, my heart goes out to every one of them. I, I, my condolences to the families and to Alex Baldwin. I know you're going through your own kind of hell right about now. And my sympathies and my heart go out to you. It says, um, there's an article from the New York Times that says, Alec Baldwin was told a gun in fatal shooting set was uh, was set on safe. Um, the actor was told the gun being used as a prop was safe before he fired it on the set of Russ, killing the film cinematographer and wounding his director, a law enforcement Official said, uh, on a ranch in northern New Mexico, where the cottonwoods and the dusty foothills have formed a backdrop for a western since the 1950s, Alec Baldwin was filming a new movie, filming a new movie, and on Thursday afternoon, when his character an outlaw needed a gun, an assistant grab director grabbed one of three prop guns that the film's armor had set up outside on a gray cart and handed it to Mr. Baldwin and, according to the affidavit signed by Detective Joe Cannell of the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Department, yelled, Cold Gun, which was supposed to indicate that the gun did not have any live rounds in it. When Mr. Baldwin fired the gun, law enforcement officials said it struck and killed the film's cinematographer and wound photographer and wounded its director and raised new questions about firearm safety on film sets. The assistant director did not know live rounds were in the prop gun and when he gave it to Mr. Baldwin according to the affidavit which was made as part of the search warrant ap uh, application the affidavit did not specify what kind of ammunition the gun had been loaded with. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The results were deadly. Helena Hutchins, the film's director of photography, was struck in the chest and flown to the University of New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque, where she died, officials said. Joel Souza, 48, uh, the film's director, was shot in the shoulder area and wounded. He was taken to Christa St. Vincent Regional Medical Center in Santa Fe, and later released. There are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic uh, incident that took the life of Sally Ann Hutchins, a wife, a mother, and deeply admired colleague of ours. Mr. Baldwin, 63, said in a statement Friday on Twitter, I am fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy occurred, and I am in touch with her husband, offering my support to him and his family. My heart is broken for her husband and their son and all who knew and loved Helena. Mm -mm -mm. The plot of the film Mr. Baldwin was shooting Russ hinges on an accidental killing and its aftermath. What? Suddenly, the movie set on Bonanza Creek Ranch in Santa Fe County became the scene of a real killing and a real investigation. Juan Rios, a spokesman for the sheriff's office, said on Friday afternoon that the investigation remains active and ongoing and that the detectives in the movie were set to continue to interview potential witnesses. Regarding the projectile, a focus of the investigation is what type of, um, what type of investigation it is. Um, and in terms of the projectile, how, how was it and how did it get there? The affidavit said that the three guns had been left on a gray cart outside the structure where Mr. Baldwin was working on a scene due to COVID-19 restrictions. With the search warrant, 
the detectives were seeking additional evidence that could help shed light on the events leading up to the fatal shooting. Footage or video capture during filming. Computer or cell phones left on the set as well as other firearms and ammunition. Mm -mm -mm. Sounds strange, guys. There have been, and I'm not saying anything on Alex Baldwin's part at all. There have been reports of a labor unrest on the film, on the set of the film, where Mr. Baldwin also served as a producer. Several members of the crew walked off the set earlier this week over working conditions, according to several people familiar with the shoot. Wow. Three private security guards stood at the locked gate to the Bonanza Creek around midday on Friday, telling journalists that access to the property was restricted. Wow. On film sets, the safety protocols for using guns are well established, straightforward. Weapons must be tightly managed by a licensed armorer. Cast members should be trained in gun safety. And live ammunition should never be used. Productions uh, typically use real guns that are locked and loaded with blanks, which can still be dangerous uh, since they involve gunpowder, a cartridge, and paper uh, padding or wax, which provide realistic looking flame or a spark. Whew. But in this case, it was evident that something had gone very wrong, experts in the film safety division say. Protocol had to have been broken. We will have to see what the details are, but the industry has a very specific guidelines, I mean guidelines to follow to prevent something like this from happening. Mr. Rio said on Thursday night that the sheriff's office had not filed any charges against anyone in connection with the shooting. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. All right, you guys, I want to know what y'all think about this Alec um, Baldwin movie, uh, Rust, and the shooting on the set. And uh, who do you think should be held accountable? Do you think it's because of the working conditions that somebody might have been mm, a little disgruntled and might have wanted to bring some attention to the producer of the movie, the director, and everybody else involved? I'm waiting on your opinion. Okay? Leave it below, and I'll see you in the next video.